Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on how to analyze pretest and post-test data using ANCOVA. And we'll be using SPSS to run the statistic. So I have here an SPSS data file of a uh, that represents a fictitious experiment. I'm going to explain these different variables. So first we have ID number. We have 80 participants in this experiment. Then we have a grouping variable, and we have two, two levels of this grouping variable. One is control. We have 40 in the control group, and the other is treatment. We have 40 in the treatment group. So let's uh, assume for the purpose of this video that the control group uh, receives no treatment, and the treatment group receives treatment for depression. Then we have a pretest score. So this would be uh, a measure of depressive symptoms that was given before uh, any treatment. And then we have a post-test score. So this would be the same measure, uh, a measurement of depressive symptoms given after the treatment. And of course, if um, if this were a real experiment, you know, what we would hope is that uh, the treatment would be effective. Therefore, the post-test scores uh, for depression would be lower uh, than for the control group. So what the ANCOVA will do is it'll control for the pretest values. And let us look at the post-test values and see if there is a significant difference between the control group and the treatment group. So again, we're looking for a statistically significant difference between the control and treatment group while con the control and treatment group on the dependent variable, on the post-test value, while controlling for the pretest value. So that's, that's uh, this is a situation uh, where you could use a number of statistics, but that but that is what ANCOVA will tell us. It'll control for the pretest and let us see if there's a difference between the two treatment groups. To run ANCOVA, first we have to check out a couple assumptions and make sure that the uh, covariate meets the requirements uh, to run ANCOVA. The first one is that the pretest cannot be statistically significantly different across the, the uh, levels of the independent variable. So there can't be a difference between the control and treatment group on the pretest. So to test this, we're going to run uh, just an ANOVA. We're going to have the um, independent variable, the fixed factor, be group. And for the dependent variable is going to be pretest. And we're interested here is group. And you can see uh, 0.418 is non significant. So there's no statistically significant difference between control and treatment on the pretest. So it passes the first assumption. Uh, the next assumption, uh, known as the uh, homogeneity of regression, is calculated a little differently. Uh, the variables are put in the same way as if we were running in ANCOVA. So you have a dependent variable will be post-test. The covariate is the pretest, and of course the independent variable is group. The difference is we're going to change the model. We're going to look at group and pretest, and you can hold down control and get both of these, and we'll look at group times pretest. This is actually the one we're interested in. So we'll run this, and we're really only interested in one result here. It's in a test of between subjects effects. It's group times pretest. And you can see uh, the significance is 0.278. It's non-significant, so this uh, this meets the homogeneity of regression condition, the assumption. 
which means we can move forward with running an ENCOVA. So the way we do that is to go back in and you can see it's already set up from the prior test except you want to go back to a full factorial model and there's some options you want to make sure are selected. You want to display the means for the group and overall, descriptive statistics, estimates of effect size, and homogeneity tests. These are the boxes you want checked off. All right, so we have, we can see from uh, the mean from the control group to the treatment group drops. So 36 down to um, 33 approximately on the post test. You can see that by group, meaning control versus treatment group, you have 0 0.006 as significance as the significance. So that is statistically significant. And uh, a little above a 9% uh, value here for partial eta squared. So the membership in one group uh, versus the other uh, explains about 9% of the movement in the, the uh, dependent variable, in this case the post-test. So what you want to remember when interpreting this output is this, this output is based on controlling the pretest value. So when controlling for the pretest, there is a statistically significant difference between the groups on the post test. And here just a quick graph uh, showing the drop in the score. So that is how you um, test for the assumptions of an ANCOVA and run an ANCOVA and the, the circumstances I've explained in which it's appropriate. Uh, you want to think of the research question uh, that you're asking uh, when you choose an analysis because as I mentioned there's many choices uh, in looking at pretest and post-test data there's many statistics you can choose from uh, the ANCOVA is a fairly powerful statistic it's fairly straightforward to run but it only answers that one research question which may not be the research question that you're asking which is after controlling for pretest, is there a statistically significant difference between the levels of the independent variable? I hope you found this uh, video helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.